The speed and accuracy you need on a sliding head comes out in your tooling. Yeah, and the micro tooling as well. We are here on the Gearing Stand at Mac 2024 to find out what they are showcasing. So Chris, starting on your milling section and your PCD diver, what can you tell me about it? So this is one of our latest products from the diver range. Uh, a lot of people know the diver range from the carbide side, but this is the, milling, uh, this is the PCD side of that milling range as well. It's quite diverse. You can drill with it. You can high ramp with it high feed, high metal removal rate with it as well. So everything that the diver does, but with a PCD tip on it as well. And what's the advantage of having a PCD tool? One, surface finish. Two, high RPM, high metal removal rate. So lower cycle times and better surface finish. Moving on, reaming. Yeah, obviously this doesn't look like a reamer I've seen before. I'm used to the normal full shank ones. So what can you tell me about it? So our HR 500, it's been on the market a few years now, but it's a special grade of carbide, a harder grade of carbide so that we can get high feed. And when you see it going round, it looks like a knitting needle. It's very quick and very high accuracy, round holes and high tolerance on the, on the hole size as well. Because isn't that a problem with reaming is everybody looks at reaming as, as a really slow process. Yes, they did in the past, but once we take these in, it's quite nerve-wracking going in with the high feeds to start with, but once you get a background in it and you get some experience in it, it is really good and really fast. Now, we're going to move on, and obviously we, we are here at Mac, so the stand is busy and we don't want to be moving customers out of the way. So if we just stand further back, obviously aviation and medical. So let's start with medical. Yep. So medical, uh, we, we do a lot of business within the medical industry. It's always stainless steel, titanium, so difficult to machine materials. But we've got a full range of uh, milling cutters and drills that, that do all those materials and we've got good experience in there as well. Now, we're going to move on because you answered all the questions I had for that. So you did that in one go. Now, I'm not really sure what I'm looking at here, so can you explain what it is? It's something that we do. They're mainly specials, but we do a lot with aerospace assembly. So wing spars, wings, fuselages, anything. It's drilling, core drilling, reaming, just hand-fed tools for the aviation industry. And obviously, anything to do with hand tools is scary. You want to try and get as much done on the machine as you can, but you can't always do everything on a machine. So how does this give people the confidence that when they use a hand tool, they're still going to get the best out of it? Well, it's an industry standard really within the aviation industry because you're working on wings and they're, they're, you know how big wings are for, for aeroplanes. You can't fit it all into a CNC machine. So every, all the holes that are done with the rivets with, with the different stacks and everything, we do that as, as, a, as a standard or, and, and a special as well. So yeah, we, we cover all the range. So that's just giving people the confidence that if they need to do a hand, something with hand tools, they've got the right equipment. Yes, exactly. So moving on, Obviously, the stand is quite busy now, so we'll just have to make his way best where we can. But let's talk about your uh, the threading you have on the stand. Yep, so we've got a no number of products here on the threading. This one is our cut taps, so our Pi uh, Pinex range, very, very popular. Um, we've got blind through holes, blind holes, and roll taps as well within that range. We've also got a new product, which is our interchangeable headed roll tap, carbide head, steel shank, so you're just replacing the expensive part and where all the wear, wear is done. And obviously that must make it a lot more time effective for production runs, that changing just the head is going to be a lot quicker than changing a whole tap, having to reset that whole, that yeah, whole that, tool. Yeah, exactly, so you just change the head, the tool height's the same, so nothing to change on the programme, nothing to check on the tool height. So change it, press go, off you go. And just before we move on, I'm just going to ask you a question you've probably been asked a thousand times, but what is the different colour bands on each tap? It's material specific. So blue is for stainless steel, we have red for hardened steels, yellow for general steels, black for aluminium. It's just a, a DIN standard for the, the material types. So then hopefully somebody's not going to put the wrong tap in for the wrong material and wonder why it keeps breaking. Exactly. Now, moving round, 
let's talk about your drilling section. Because yep. you have quite a... We'll talk about the Ardox Pro in a minute, because okay. that's your new drill. What are you showcasing over here? So this is one of our hand tools, uh, general purpose, step power. Um, people that do take it up absolutely love it. You've got the step formation on the front, so when you're going through sheet material, it gradually breaks out at the end, so you end up with a round hole rather than a, a triangle hole. We've all done it with a, with a drill. Always snatches at the end, and, <laughs> and, and it, it, it's a never a round hole. Um, and the force needed to push it through materials is, is a lot less as well because you're going through it gradually. And I'd just like to say that you're not concentrating here fully on CNC. You're talking about hand tools and quite a lot of hand tools to show that you do everything for the whole industry, not just specific. Yes, yeah, just the, the diverse range that we do. We do any, any drills, any round shank tools as well. So. Now, I want to talk about a drill I know you're quite passionate about it. we spoke about this a lot, but the new Inox Pro. Yes, I mean, we're having real success with this at the moment. Uh, designed specifically for titanium and stainless steel. Uh, new coating, new grade of carbide, up to 50% more uh, increased speed rate and 50% more tool life as well. So it, it is an all rounder and it, it is very, very successful. Now there's two things there. One, that scares me to death, which is how you've managed to get 50% increased feed in titanium, because it's awful. Yep. But also, even though you're, you're increasing the feed by 50%, you're still getting longer tool life. Because let's be honest, normally them two things don't come hand in hand. Normally you speed something up and it wears a lot quicker. Yeah, so you speed it up so there's less contact time. Uh, the geometry on there is chip evacuation or chip creation to aid chip evacuation so then you can you can feed it faster because the, the swarf's getting out faster as well Le less heat all the good all the bad things about drilling titanium we've alleviated with the geometry and the, and the coating now i feel like we need to move on because i'm uh, i don't know about you but we could talk about yeah, the Pro for, yeah. for, for ages so moving on to the last stand before we get on to the vending solutions yeah what are you showcasing on the milling section? So we've got our new Skyliner here today. So this is a brand new range, launching it today at, at, um, at MAC. So it's specifically for aluminium and um, deep pocketing milling is where it's come from. So we created these in the Netherlands and it's for the, the, the wing spars and the deep, the deep uh, pockets in aluminium. What we've done, we've taken all the good stuff off that, all the geometry, and put it on a shorter tool, so we've got stability there, and it's just great for metal removal, and so to get the cycle time down. And just before we carry on, obviously, cutting tools in general is, it's always on people's minds, because obviously if one breaks, you need to get one quite quickly. But you, you at Gearing aren't like many other tooling suppliers, because you actually keep stock in the UK. Yep, exactly, that's right. So, I mean, these are made in the UK, but like you said, we, we stock in the UK. We've got between four, between four and five million pounds worth of stock in Birmingham in the UK, ready for, ready for next day delivery. So, whereas other people sometimes have customs issues coming into the country, we can guarantee next day delivery. And your place in Birmingham is awesome. I've been there, the grinding machines just are unreal to see. Now, obviously, customers are busy here, so we'll move on to your vending solutions or we could stop just quickly I stop at the the mold and die as sorry, well sorry my so, fault missed it yep so mold and die i mean it's a, a new range i know where this is from okay now actually i followed this part being made from start to finish and i just want to get out how it's great how you do tools not just for for your normal cnc but that's come off a sliding head yep exactly so the speed and accuracy you need on a sliding head comes out in your tooling. Yeah, and the micro tooling as well. So as you know, sliding heads is usually small, small components and, and things like that. Uh, whereas the mold and die, it's a huge range, but we also go into the micro tooling part of that, that range as well. And I just want to, if the camera can see it, the finish on that is absolutely incredible. And it's the intricacy of the parts inside it which also make it look quite special. Yep, like you say, high accuracy, high 
high speed. And that should, again, that just comes back to your performance and quality. Right, Chris, now the customers have actually gone to the other side of your stand, we've got some room. So what are we, uh, sorry, what are you showcasing on the final stand? So again, milling this side. So this is our speed miller. Um, high length of, or large length of cut. We've got the chip breakers on there as well, so that you end up with the, 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 the shorter chips and the, the, the nice manageable swarf there. Uh, we like to put the swarf on the stand because we're all engineers. We like looking at. We like look, some people moan that they couldn't touch it, but we like looking at the uh, the swarf. And as, as you can see, with the colour of the swarf or the heat from the, the heat's come out with the chip. Yeah. Not in the, so the yeah. heat's come out with the chip, not in the workpiece. So perfect cutting conditions. So yeah, that's that, that's the speed, high metal removal rate, and high depth of cut. Ideal for your trichoidal milling and, and things like that. Uh, now, the, the shark. Shark. <laughs> yeah, shark. <laughs> We, I know we have got shark, shark on there, but it is called the shark. Um, we've extended the range, so this is one of our best sellers. Um, ideal for sliding heads and insta instable conditions, unstable conditions. Uh, we've brought out a shorter version as well to make it even more stable. Um, it's got a thicker core, so it makes, again, for stability. And the geometry is quite simple geometry on there so there's, there's there's less force less cutting less cutting force less torque required from the spindle it's just like the uh, the hard guy at the end of the table isn't it that's uh, he's not going to break no matter what you do yeah exactly and, <laughs> and for, for all materials as well so across across the board now obviously that's we've gone through milling aerospace drilling reaming but let's talk about your vending solutions now we can't actually get too close to these because these yeah. customers but what can you tell us about your vending solutions you've brought to Mac? Okay, so again, along with everything, uh, it's Goering made, software is written by Goering, and all the, all the hardware is made by Goering as well. Um, so as it says up there, it's, it's more than a tool store. Uh, there's a lot of vending machines out there that just dispense tools, but we, we pride ourselves on the ability of the software as well for, for reporting, for seeing who's taken it, what shifts taken the tools out, what jobs it's been taken out for so it's a complete tool management software on that really and something i like about your vending machine is you can actually put that into your own system in your office because can't you run that as a system on itself yeah so the software on there is capable of running a whole production facility uh, we sell the software on its own as well so that people can then use it and, and run the whole whole machine shop now if people haven't come to Mac and haven't seen what's on show, how can they get in contact with you about something they've seen on this tour if they need to talk to you or they need any expertise from you guys? So they can contact us at info at .uk, send an inquiry through and we can get back to them with the, with the information, the relevant information that they require. And what about if I need somebody to come and visit me at my shop? Yeah, so we've got 18 engineers out on the, the road across the UK and Ireland so we'll always have a local engineer that can go in and, and, and visit them and, and look at the application and, and see what's best for them.